I don't know what this is. I think it's our fourth. Nancy, is this our fourth fourth conference? Third conference? Third? So every year, uh, in association with the Kidney Cancer Association, uh, we get together and have a, a regional patient conference. Happy to see so many people joining us today. Um, what we try and do is, over the course of a few hours, uh, be very comprehensive and very interactive in our transmission of information about kidney cancer and the things that are important to you and the things that we think are important to you. So it's a, a compact between the, the two of us. You can see on the second page of your agenda uh, the list of people that you'll be speaking that'll be speaking with you, and we've tried to allow for a substantial amount of time for you to have your questions answered if you have some. And of course, there'll be breaks and lunch, and many of us will be here all day if there's additional opportunities for us to uh, to chat. So a couple of housekeeping things. If you haven't had your parking validated, there's a validation right outside. You can do that at the break. Try and put your phones on silent or something so that um, it's respectful of the speakers and your, your co-colleagues. Uh, the bathrooms are right outside. And there'll be a break this morning, lunch right outside at around 11.30 or noon, depending upon how tardy we are. And uh, we'll have you out of here by uh, no later than 2.15 about. So I hope you have a good day. I think that it's going to be um, exciting for you. So let me, let me tell you a little bit about what, where kidney cancer is in 2015. Um, I, I actually call 2015 a year of transition. Uh, we've spent almost a little over the last decade uh, studying, evaluating, and getting FDA approved uh, targeted agents for kidney cancer. Uh, those of you, many of you are on drugs that first came to the market in uh, the winter of 2005 uh, and then the beginning of 2006, so we're a decade from that. And we've spent that decade really studying uh, the impact of targeted therapy in renal cell cancer. Um, just to give you some perspective, um, there was a delay between 1992 and 2005 of 13 years when there were no drugs approved for, no treatments approved for kidney cancer. So um, it's been a very robust scientific era. Um, and, and what we've learned is we've had a profound effect on people's lives, which has been just remarkable. Uh, but we've also learned that there's still a lot to be understood, and we haven't gone all the way. Uh, what does it mean to go all the way? It means that we're looking to cure kidney cancer. It's very simple. Yes, it's important to prolong lives. Yes, it's important to do it in a way that allows people to um, be comfortable in their lives, carrying out their activities that they want to carry out. Uh, but the goals are still an, un uh, an unchanging to find cures. And, and I think this year of transition, as you'll hear about over the course of today, is really a transition between uh, the era of what I call targeted therapy and the era of what might offer us opportunities to cure. Um, that, that's not said lightly. Uh, many of you are participating in, that, in those efforts and will hopefully benefit from those efforts but it's important for all of you to understand and know um, what we th how we think about how we approach kidney cancer and how we think about changing the lives of people now and in the future that will be afflicted. So it's, it's an exciting time, uh, a, a challenging time, um, and we'll, we'll dive into many of that. So one of our partners in this morning's uh, patient care conference is the Kidney Cancer Association located in Chicago. And Craig the Priester uh, comes to us from Chicago as one of their board members to share with you some of the, uh, the roles that the Kidney Cancer Association plays in the international uh, approach to kidney cancer and patient support. So Craig, welcome. 